Japanese Pokemon 151 is bouncing back like crazy. The set some people thought was a dead investment has been booming over the past, well, couple of weeks, which has been pretty intense since September. It has gone absolutely crazy. Now, we knew that a big reprint happened with Japanese 151, where the Pokemon company in Japan was printing this like crazy. We saw prices go from as high as $200 drop down to around about $60, $70. It was rough. Over here in the UK, we saw booster boxes go for around $170 to $180 down to £50 a booster box. That isn't the case anymore as the set, well, seems to be drying up, I guess. And the booster boxes have been going through the roof, not only in the US, but also here in the UK. So today we're looking at what has been going on for booster boxes, the single cards, and whether or not this is still a good investment. It is. All right, so today we're looking at Pokedare.io for the Pokemon 151 Japanese booster box prices. As you can see over the past month, this has been bouncing back. We're looking around $83 roughly on eBay. And you can see here there was around $70 and it did dip a little bit and then it started to rise but to get a better picture we need to go about six months we can see what's been going on with this set now i did a video uh probably about a couple of months ago now when this big reprint wave hit and everyone was like oh no it's gonna be crazy things are going super cheap it is you know it kind of sucks to be everyone that bought it they're gonna have to offload it all that sort of stuff and i made a video going look i actually think it's gonna be the next ev heroes right because ev heroes basically went the same way the booster boxes went really expensive. They did a huge reprint. Boxes dropped to as low as like 80. Now, bearing in mind, there were a lot more than that at the time. And now look at them. They're like, what, three, $400 a box or more. So the set bounced back pretty crazy. And it was a good investment. But back then, people thought, you know what? It got a huge reprint. The boxes dropped by over 50% or even more. And it was like, that's it. Game over. And it was basically the same with this, right? Where we saw prices drop. And as you can see here, $180 dropping like crazy when the reprint hit back in april may time we started to see a lot of people offloading a lot of their stock that they were holding because they were getting new stock in and people in japan were just getting rid of it as much as possible overseas here because we were just in it up like crazy and you know the prices shouldn't have been that high anyway this is just a huge home run set even in english 151 is just smashing things out of the park especially for a holiday set the way it's going it, it gives me that feeling of uh you know hidden fate especially when it comes to the english version japanese is gonna be slightly different because it does have a booster box in my opinion the japanese version of 151 is better because you have the master ball reverses and that helps drive the set even more and makes it a lot more desirable it's not only just to open but to collect and on top of that to invest in now when we look at the set list we're going to go through or i'll show you the uk pro right over here in the uk let's take a look at what's been going on so we had a booster box sold recently for 85 pounds bearing in mind i said you could pick this up for 50 pound i was buying these 50 pound a box nice and easy right it was just everywhere 85 we go further down 95 uh 88 with free postage um that's a combination of english and japanese 180 so 90 pound a box this is nearly doubled in price literally in the space of like three weeks three maybe even four weeks i picked these up at the beginning of the month for 50 now look at them absolutely crazy so we're going to be taking a look at the set list and we're going to be going through each of the not all of the cards because it's a huge set massive set we're going to go through the biggest cards in the set looking at the raw prices and the graded prices of some of these and talk through like my thoughts and opinions on where i think 151 japanese will go and will this have any impact on english because there's a lot of talks about uh english reprints coming over here in the uk we've already had a pokemon center restock of the booster bundles i don't know if they're still available but they were i picked up a whole bunch um but yeah so you know we've got more coming and a lot of the retailers in the coming months as well with mini tins and the like and other products so japanese though 151 you know the value of the set is nearly three and a half thousand dollars it is a huge set the Master Ball Reverses really do carry the set and it adds that additional value. Because apart from that, the rest of the set's okay. But I think if it didn't have those uh, Master Balls, which you are guaranteed to get one in every sealed box. Sometimes even two. We've had two before. And that is actually really cool. You know, and there's a lot, you know, so the pool of Master Ball Reverses 
is very large but then again there's some good valuable ones as we can see with the pikachu and the gengar still fetching massive price tags we got 183 and 154 which is very very impressive but then you look at the charizard which is the biggest card in english we're looking at 89 dollars whereas in uh, english is around like 120 dollars so you know it is slightly cheaper in japanese which you know kind of come to expect the mew however in in is in this set rather than the promo in english is a promo and it's worth like eight dollars whereas in japanese it is 60. but of course if you know we go down the list you're going to see a whole bunch of master ball reverses and of course the sirs the normal illustration res in this set unlike english um don't really hold their value in english they really do we saw with the charmander the squirrel the bulbasaur and the like they really really have been going up actually which has been very impressive but when i take a look at this set i'm i was scrolling through and i was like where are these illustration rares where's like the charmander you know what the dreaded mr mime there but where's the charmander and i kept going and going and going and going and i did finally find it okay so the charmander is the most expensive uh illustration rare you know that's not um you know obviously an sir of course and it's not that expensive right you know there it is at eight dollars 21 it is not really a big chase card and you're gonna have to keep scrolling down i mean even the regular mu ex is seven dollars seventy so it's quite interesting there's the squirrel at five dollars there's the bulbasaur just under five dollars there's a charmeleon at five dollars so a lot of them are really really cheap in this set but it's all about the master ball right it's all about the master ball reverses i think if they were in english it would be insane like the set would be crazy now will this be a good set moving forward yes it's going to be incredible the fact it's done such a big bounce back already is very impressive a lot of recent japanese sets haven't really been doing very well the pokemon company in japan have really been on top of printing and getting enough uh, you know product out there for everybody so let's take a look at the pikachu for example so we go through and we can see what the market price is and, and the graded price of course so we've got 183 uh, for the raw price on eBay, PSA 10, 290. Very interesting. Apparently, a PSA 9 is more expensive. Uh, I, you know, there's a lot less of them. There's over 5,000. Wow, people are lucky to pull this card. Uh, at 290, not too bad. Uh, but we have seen the PSA 10 price drop from, you know, $500 six months ago. That That's basically what happens when you get that reprint. I do expect a lot of these to start climbing. You know, I really do raw and graded uh because there's going to be less and less of this opened the fact is that yeah they reprinted it and they said it would print to demand but you can only print something for so long until you are focused on the newest stuff do you know what i mean so yes you know that is very good they got you know you know, push a lot of stock back in to reduce the price of everything which i'm all here for but now we're going to start to see the natural growth of Pokemon 151 in Japan. It's going to be interesting. It really is. I mean, this game, we're looking at 154. We've got PSA 10 coming at 217. So actually not that much more in a PSA 10, which is actually quite surprising. But it has been dropping pretty much across the board. Not quite as much as the Pikachu. You know, that has dropped a fair amount, but it was actually really high. Now, the Charizard is the biggest card in English, but not the biggest card here. But 11,500 in a PSA 10 is wild that is a lot and it's 145 in a psa 10 which in the grand scheme of things isn't actually worth that much psa 7 is not that much different than the psa 10 that's crazy so yeah i mean japanese does grade well that's one thing that you you know a lot of you already know uh, or may not know the japanese as a rule card qualities tend to be very good so it's a lot easier to get psa 10s we take a look at this Mew EX. W, this is not the promo. This is the promo in English, but it is in the set. $60 raw, $95 in a PSA 10. Not really worth it, to be honest. Nearly, you know, just over 7,000, 7,500. Has dropped quite a bit, though, in the PSA price. It has dropped a fair amount, $140, and now down to that 95 drop below 100 which is actually quite crazy. And then you have Erica's Invitation, which isn't really worth much, uh, you know, in the US or, you know, in English, as it were. Um, but it has been dropping like crazy. Look at this. PSA 10. $98. Over 7,000 grade in a 10. And that price has just absolutely plummeted over time. Going back to the booster box. This is on the rise. Keep an eye out for this one, guys. Because things are going crazy. You look at the prices of stuff that's on sale. We're looking at nearly $100 a box. Things are going crazy for this set. Is it a good one to invest in right now? Absolutely. I think it's just an absolute home run. We see where it's already been. 
and it will get there pretty quickly i think uh just because of how much people have opened the set and uh you know people love it it's 151 it, it's been a juggernaut in japanese it's been a juggernaut in english i think it's gonna be an absolute home run me personally i don't tend to go for japanese i do have two booster boxes which i know isn't a lot i have two booster boxes of 151 japanese will i pick up any more probably may maybe one or two more uh if i can get them for around about you know 80 to 90 which would be a good price i think right now because of um you know how much it has gone up by of course it hasn't gone up to where it once was but it'll get there you'll get that i would see this booster box down the down the line being in the same range as is as, as eevee heroes you know when we look at an eevee heroes booster box you look around 364 dollars and it has gone down from a high of 450 it cooled off a little bit right just like evolving skies has cooled off a little bit so yeah you know eevee heroes i mean still right bear in mind you're able to pick up this box i remember picking them up for like 60 a box 70 a box so pretty crazy the fact is you got 151 dig up to 180 dropped to about 50 60 and is now nearly on its way to 100 already i expect down the line to reach this type of level you know that 300 plus range for a 151 probably even more um but i do expect it to get there you know i wouldn't say pretty soon but i think it has that potential to go because don't forget ev heroes did get a big reprint as well um you know i was able to pick up a, a whole bunch of booster boxes for a lot cheaper and then sell them once they started you know getting harder and harder to get hold of again so yeah keep that in mind there you have it guys that is what has been going on regarding japanese pokemon 151 it is a home run set arguably one of the best booster boxes to get right now it is really good if you're one for grabbing sealed japanese it is an absolute home run uh but for me i might get one or two more like i said i don't really go for japanese but it is incredible you know that bounce back in literally what like three four weeks is super impressive kind of threw me off guard i didn't realize until someone brought up i'm like jason have you seen the price of 151 japanese i'm like no look at the price was like holy smokes what's going on here so yeah very very impressive if you made this fun to the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe for more pokemon content and let me know your thoughts about 151 japanese down in the comments be really interesting i think it is holy grail to be honest of pokemon investment right now it is doing so so well if you want much more Pokemon content, make sure to click the video on the screen and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But that is it from me, guys, in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are legends, and I'll see you in the next one.